how it know, uh, how did it feel to know that the show she created for little kids was obsessed over by sexually repressed men children? Not me. Uh, <laughs> she felt, she said right here, I feel that the people who called them that are ignorant assholes. And she created the show for everybody to watch, including male parents with their daughters, bro. Uh, <laughs> and I found that actually on a blog post on uh, to July 20th, 2011, and this is actually a screenshot of the thing itself. What's highly <laughs> weird is that I've noticed that as the show has progressed, there's been a huge amount of fan service in the TV show, which is kind of weird, I'm not going to lie. But uh, the fans actually spoke and on, a, on a survey, 3,000 people, and they actually said that three main interesting points of the show were the characters, the story, the art animation, and the online community itself. As you can see down here, this tiny little sliver of the pie chart is actually returning fans. So this show has recruited basically new blood from the ground up. And the reason that that percentage is so very small is because, as you can see here, the overwhelming majority of the fandom is male. So don't think I'm a weirdo. We got about 3,520, which is a human. That's just for the people that were surveyed. Uh, most of them are over to the age of 20 years old. Uh, <laughs> my God. Uh, she also created this show to be anti-girly. Uh, you can see here this pony in this particular episode partially went insane because she thought that her friends had ousted her from the group. As you can see here, she started talking to inanimate objects. You would think for a girl show that this is not the norm, but that's not so because violence and danger is not that uh, unknown in the show. The reason why is that they've been attacked on two separate occasions by giant fire-breathing dragons. They've been attacked by a massacre. Uh, they've almost had the land plunged into eternal darkness by an evil ruler. Um, one of them was actually turned to stone by a cockatrice. One of them was almost turned to stone by the same cockatrice. Uh, they were attacked by a giant four-headed hydra. Uh, they were also attacked by a giant bear. And uh, as you can see, the fandom just gets really out there, like wild out there. I'm not kidding. <laughs> there have been some amazing things out there. I can't believe it. Uh, someone actually made a video game modification that featured My Little Pony content to Super Smash Brothers Brawl. And as you can see here, there's just so much that the fandom has to offer. It's ridiculous. <laughs> um, <laughs> oh, anyway, my, for me, my, uh, uh, Thank you all for not chasing me off the stage here for my presentation. But in the view, I covered why the uh, fandom itself was uh, started, how the producers of the show actually, you know, immortalized themselves with their fans, and of course, how the show itself is so freaking awesome. Uh, conclusion: That's pretty much it, and that is my presentation. I want to request one thing, and that is. What was presented in this classroom stays in this classroom. <laughs> um, that's actually pretty much it. Pretty much it. I'm getting the hell out of here. Questions? Yeah. You heard? Not personally. No. <laughs> but yeah, I've been there before. <laughs> so where can we find this on YouTube? All 26 episodes of 1080 p no which is the highest definition you can get, are available for free to watch on YouTube, you know, except for maybe the one commercial that shows the